Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we are going to look at a mod for the Gravel T Series, or as I usually call it, the Big Rig. Now, what do you use a Big Rig for? You use it to transport those big trailers that you always see on Big Rigs. Now, with this mod, you can do that. So, we're going to go ahead and pull out the T Series. Now, the way it works is you get a T Series, and then you're going to pull up the parts menu, and then you're going to go to the bottom, and you're going to add a trailer. And installing the mod's a little weird. Just look at the post on the forum that tells you what to do, because you have to delete the old version, then install this one. And if you do everything right, though, you get a trailer. Now, nothing fancy on the trailer works, like the lights and brakes, brake lights, those kinds of things. Blinkers, they don't work. But it does attach to the big rig, and it can fall off, which is the most important parts of a trailer. So if you go over a jump like this, it'll probably fall off and smash into you. And if you're lucky, it might reattach itself. And I am not lucky, though. It has fallen off, and the trailer is done for. We on the other hand could keep driving if we wanted to. But what's the point in that? I want the trailer. So we'll go ahead and put it back on. Uh, one thing to note, the camera is not made for this. The camera just goes right into the trailer every time you you reset the camera. So you can't exactly do that. I think the trailer weighs like 4,000 kilograms. So it is heavy, but I'm pretty sure you, in real life it could get heavier. Uh, it's heavy enough, though, where you can definitely feel the weight when you try to accelerate compared to a normal one of these trucks. Like this one is extremely slow compared to the other one. Uh, will it struggle on a hill? Maybe. We'll might have to test that later, but it it takes some time to get moving. As you see, we're take we're just holding the gas 100% this whole time. Then the automatic transmission do its thing because I'm pretty sure with 13 gears it can decide which gear to use properly. And this whole way we get up to about 50 miles per hour. And compared to the normal one, I think it would probably be up to about 60, maybe even 70 at this point. So boom, there's a crash, and then the trailer just comes in and bashes you again. And look at that crash, actually. Wow. The way the trailer just... Oh, that is... Whoa. I mean, it's one of those things where I've never thought about what happens to a trailer when you wreck a big rig. And, well, that's kind of what happens, I guess. Sheesh. That thing got ruined. No. There's only so much you can do with this uh, truck-trailer combination. See, if you really want to ruin the trailer... I think what we need is an, another vehicle. That's really what we need. So after we do this next little run right here, does the trailer hold on for that little jump? Yes, but look at it bouncing all over the place. Hold on, trailer. Oh, you're good. Uh, once we do this next real quick run, though, I think we should um, add another car and start slamming into the trailer with cars and stuff. You know, slam an H-cube into it, maybe try to monster truck onto the trailer. I don't know. Just try some crazy things. Try to get it up to about 50 miles per hour and then do another collision. This one's going to be insane because we're flying through the air. Oh, hold straight. Uh-oh, uh-oh. One of the back, back, back wheels is locked up. And look at that. I, I love the way the trailer just comes in and squishes you extra. The trailer, it, it is, I, I just love that. It's just, all right, we got in a crash. We're okay. Oh, no, the trailer's going to kill us. And then it just smashes you. It's great. All right, so let's go ahead and get some things to slam into the trailer to see how the trailer itself holds up to uh, being hit by things, you know, see if there's any glitchiness with it or anything like that. Uh, for the most part, I haven't noticed anything. It's one of those things where it's like, it's a very simple box design. How could it be glitchy? It's Well, yeah, that's probably true. That's probably why I haven't noticed any issues with it. Now, let's get a cool color on that truck. What color is going to be cool today? How about a literally cool color of blue? It's literally cool because cool colors are blue and stuff. So let's hit the trailer. Yes, that didn't work well at all. <laughs> like, the trailer barely even cared. It's just like, huh, somebody hit me? Oh, it, it did bend, actually. Look at it, it's all bent up now. Hit it again! Yes! Can we drive the trailer still or no? Oh, it's all bent up. Oh, but it still drives somehow. Look at that, it still drives. I can't see anything, but it still drives. No problem, trailer's just beat up, don't care. Trailer don't care. Trailer don't care. It is really beat up, actually. Oh my goodness. That like, oh, that is. It doesn't look right. Oh, hello. There's a wall. That's not good. All right. You know what though? I saw the truck slide under the trailer. That gives me a different idea. Give me a bowl line, man. <laughs> I got an idea right here. All right. This is gonna work great. Look. Look. All we do. Look at this. It'll fit, right? Will it fit? Oh, it fits. Oh, perfect, perfect. It is like the exact perfect height to fit. All right, let's get a fast bowl with another good color. How about do another cool color again? 
All right, we're gonna try to like uh, drift under the trailer. That is the goal. We're gonna drift under that trailer, or at least slide and hopefully go under it. That is the goal. Will it happen? Who knows? Oh, it didn't slide under it, but we went under it at least. I don't know. I like that. That is so funny. We can drive under it. We can drive under it. That is that is just great. That is like all the little action movie things you ever wanted to do. Were you driving under a trailer? That's one of them. We just did it. And then we flipped over and ruined our car somewhat. Is it okay? It is not okay. This car is bad news. We need a new car. All right, how about this then? What if we try to hit it with something heavy? Another T-Series coming up. Let's really try to hit this trailer. And now driving this one, you'll see, like, wow, it is fast without a trailer. I mean, before, it's like, yeah, oh, my goodness, the T-Series is so slow. But then you get the T-Series with, the, with the trailer, and it's, oh, the T-Series is really slow. With the trailer, it's just so slow. Like this one, though, it's not nearly as slow because there's just less weight. Isn't physics great? All right, here we go. We're going to slam into that trailer and see how much it bends. Oh, I'm good with the trailer. Yes. Oh, good. Oh. Whoa. Okay. That bent the trailer up good. Dang. All right, are you going to still be able to drive? Uh, kind. It kind of still drives, sort of. Sort of. It, it takes up two lanes now because it's so crooked. I mean, look at that thing. It doesn't look like it should be driving, but it, it, it pulls itself along. Not complaining or anything, just keeps going. I wonder, does break all brake crews break the trailer off or break all hinges? Break all hinges, trailer is still on. Break all brake groups. Trailer still holds on. I wonder what it's connected by. Because usually break all brake groups means break everything. See, that would usually mean the trailer comes off, but it seems to hold on still. Maybe it's just it's hold maybe it's just gravity's keeping it on there. If I hit it, it might just fly off. I don't know. So let's hit it and test. I'm coming for you, trailer. Mm, no, it's still attached somehow. How interesting is that? That's just unusual, because I've never had something that breaks, but doesn't break by the break all break group button. That's just weird. That's all. It's different. All right, let's do something else. Let's, uh... Let's put, let's put a propane tank in the trailer and see what happens with that. Just one propane tank, nothing crazy. Yet. Maybe later we could try putting more in. But for now, I just need one propane tank. And that will be all we do. So we're just going to get that one. Go throw it in there. And then we're going to try to drive it around. I think what we'll do is we'll go off a ramp. Because I know hitting the, hitting the ground after we hit a ramp will definitely make this thing blow up. So that should work out nicely. Zoom out a ton. Zoom out a ton more, still. All right, there we go. Now you can see the whole trailer. So I'm pretty sure the explosion will be the ba near the back end because the, the propane's being pushed towards the back. Oh, it's still good? It's still good? How is it still good? Oh, come on, the truck ain't even on it no more and it still didn't blow up. All right, we're gonna hit it then. We're gonna hit the propane with the truck and make it blow up because it didn't blow up and that makes me angry. You will blow up if you'd like it or not. Uh-oh, I can't go with good speed because my wheel is stuck. Oh, but it blew up. And it didn't do much, did it? It really didn't do much at all. Oh, I just had a really dumb idea. Okay. Oh, oh now I did something, maybe. Nah, not really. Here's my dumb idea. We get a propane tank, we put it in the, the truck. And then, here's the dumb part. We spawn another vehicle. And will this fit in the back of the truck? Can we put a truck in the truck? I don't know yet. You might have to use the map editor for some precision. Oh, it'll fit. Let me see if I can get it in by just doing this or if I need the map editor. Oh, good. We're in the truck. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's great. Can we drive it all or? Okay, so that's driving. Oh, I can't drive this truck though. It doesn't seem to want to move. Dang. I was hoping I could try to crush. Oh, goodness. It just blew me up. <laughs> oh, well, that didn't work out. I was, what I was trying to do, as weird as it looked, what I was trying to do is I was trying to hit the barrel with the truck while we were driving. It didn't work out. And I can't figure out which vehicle is a truck anymore. Just stop driving, please. 
Seriously? I st stop, dri stop driving. Are you done driving? Okay, good. Now don't do it again unless I want you to. Get another propane tank. We'll put two propane tanks in this thing and see if anything will happen if we put more than one. We could try more extreme even later. I just want to try two. See if that does anything. So there's two in there, definitely. Let's go. I think we'll use the speed bumps to blow it up this time. Because that seemed to work pretty well when we were just accidentally going over them. They seem to blow up very easily. Oh, it's not going to blow up this time, huh? Really? You know, you guys are supposed to blow up. It's okay. I won't get mad at you. Oh. Now my wheels are stuck on the stinking mud flaps. Here we go. We're good. Fine, if you don't want to blow up that way, I'll just go into a collision. You'll have to blow up there. Man, this thing is so slow, though. It's like, I got... It'll, let me just give me a minute to get to the wall. Because it's so slow. But once we get to the wall, there'll be an explosion. I guarantee you that. Does this one have the slow-mo? It does not, unfortunately, have the slow-mo. So what I'll do after this one is, if it looks good, I'll up the propane tanks and give the truck the slow-mo so we can actually slow-mo this thing. Well, that might blow it up. Well, it's good, it's good. All right, here we go. Here's the, here's the explosion. The trailer don't care when it explodes. It's just like, I'm out of here. It's just using it as a way to get out of there. That's all it did. I don't know if more propane will really help, but might as well try, I guess. I mean, it's not like anything bad could happen. Just boring. That's the thing. Look at that, we just blew up the trailer again, and it's like, huh? Somebody blew me up, the tires got damaged, that's about it, look. I didn't know somebody blew me up. It looks like it imploded, not blew up. Crazy trailer. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to the map editor and just throw some more propane tanks in here. Alright, so we're in the map editor after hitting F11, then we're just going to go into the truck, say, hey, there's a propane tank, and... Try to select it like that. That should work. If I can find the selection bit. There we go. I selected it somehow. Copy, paste. 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 Oh, oh well, hey. It doesn't care. It doesn't matter how many explosives I put in this thing. Look, it just doesn't care. Look at that. That's like five of them blowing all up inside of it. And it barely cares. Look at this thing. There, that's like a 12 pro. Oh, there's something. Yeah, but do you know how many propane tanks I had to use to have that happen? A ton. So that really shouldn't be fair. Oh, also, that's the way to make an, a super explosion really easily, is you just, um... A super explosion really easily, what you do is you... Well, you break everything after you do it. That's the unfortunate part. So it's just a real pain to fix afterwards, I will say that. Let me do a quick fix on it. So I gotta go da 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 da. And map editor again. Get rid of all that. Get rid of everything I can find. Uh, you know what? I shouldn't have done this. It's gonna be a pain to fix. Oh, why did I do this? It was cool, but why did I do this? Let me just give me a second. I'll fix it. Yeah, I'll fix it off camera, actually, because it's going to take a minute. Okay, I fixed it. Now, after I fix it, we're going to break it immediately. What we're going to do is we're going to do a... I'm counting right now, so I can't talk. Uh, Ten propane. Let's go a dozen propane explosion all at once and see what happens. So, yeah, even with, like, with a dozen propane tanks blowing up in it, it barely cares. So, instead of using propane to blow this up, we need something else. For that something else, I think we should go to a different map. That's what we do. Different map, here we go. No, do not save. Let's go to... Um, let's just go to Brutal Slope. That'll, that'll wreck it up real fast. I didn't plan to go to Brutal Slope this early in the video, but hey. It'll wreck that trailer real good. We'll do other stuff later. Okay, here we are. Let's go ahead and grab the T-Series. Well, actually, you know what? It's faster if we move the truck and then grab the T-Series. So let's do that instead, uh, just because this truck is faster than the T-Series. So there we go. Move this to about there. Well, actually, the T-Series has a real terrible turning radius. Let's pull it back even more. With a trailer as well? Yeah. This thing is not going to have a good turning radius whatsoever. 
Orange seems good. Uh, orange is alright. Let's go orange. Put the trailer on it. T-Series trailer engaged. Yes. Alright, let's do something. We're going to use the interior camera for this just because I don't know how well I'll be able to see that trailer. While I'm getting it organized right here. And then we'll worry about the camera once we're already rolling. Hopefully that doesn't bite me in the butt later on, but we'll see. Okay, this doesn't feel good. Let's see what actually is happening. It looks okay. Let me freeze physics and fix this camera up. I don't know what's going on. Like this thing this thing feels very rickety. It feels like it wants to tip over at any moment. Don't tip on me. Don't tip on me. You can't be tipping on me. Just hold on. You're almost there. You almost made it. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. It's, it's well, it's still going to hit hard, but it's not going to hit as hard as it could have. Under time slower on this thing. Let's see what happens on a real hard hit. It's still 100 and something miles per hour. I know it's not 180. That speedometer's all over the place. Because look at where the tires are. They're in the air. Oh, look at it getting squished. It's so cute when it's squished. It's like a mini trailer now. Except mini in the wrong way if you were to make a mini trailer. <laughs> it looks funny. It, doesn't, it just looks like you stretched it out. Like you took it into some Play-Doh and you just went stretch. That's what it looks like. It doesn't. And then the big rig itself just ruined. It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm just wrecked up to bitch. And Trey's like, I'm mostly okay. I could probably still drive. Go, let's go. Well, maybe not drive, but it could be drug along. I just realized it has little mud flaps that have like its own design. What does it say on the mud flap? Great Dane. Hmm. What do the stickers say on it? I'm just curious now. Uh, if anybody out there feels free to look this up, was Great Dane. Have something to do, like have some meaning, because I don't know if that has a meaning actually. Or if it's like it's a pun off of a real company or something, I don't know. I'm just, I, I, I honestly have no idea. It makes me curious. Somebody look that up for me. Tell me what the, if the Great Dane has any meaning, if it's like a pun off of a real company, if it has some relationship to Beam and G Drive, I don't know if, I don't know. And if you dare say something stupid, like it's the name of a dog breed, oh, I'm gonna have some problems with you. I mean, you know, I know that. No duh. I mean, if it has some secondary meaning. Alright, we're going to try this again. It is not easy to keep this thing straight. But we're going to try the best we can to keep it straight. Hold on, truck. Just go, keep going straight. Keep going straight. Keep it straight. Keep it straight. See, the problem is I'm not exactly sure what to do. Because I don't think anybody in the history of ever has really tried to take a trailer over 200 miles per hour. Like, that's just not something that happens, really. So, I don't expect it to really be stable. And I don't know how to keep it stable besides just getting lucky. Uh-oh, it just came off. It just came off. Okay, well, that's... Well, okay, it's okay. Okay, well, I didn't get the slow-mo on it, but wow, it's paper thin. My trailer has become a sheet of paper now. And it is also really laggy right now. I don't know what that crash really did, but that is really running slow. But my trailer is a sheet of paper. Not what I wanted, unfortunately. We're going to try one more run. Where I'm what I'm trying to do is hit the trailer head on so it becomes crashed in the other direction. Unfortunately, um, that might not be possible with the stability of the trailer in question being just questionable, I guess. Is the best way to say it. It's not exactly stable. Um, whoops, that, that one was really bad. Okay, I can do a better attempt than that. Come on. I want this trailer to be squished. I want it squished the way I want it. I, wa I don't care how hard it is. I just want to get one good run right here. Come on. This is the one. If not, there isn't one. One problem that sucks is the camera's always... Alright, we're okay. We're okay. I have no idea what the trailer's doing, but that's the new strategy. Don't worry about the trailer. Keep the, str the truck going. I don't know if this will work or not. For all I know, the trailer might have already fallen off and just doesn't even care anymore. And I don't even notice, actually. That's probably a dumb plan. Okay, the trailer's still on. This plan is working great, actually. I can't believe it. That actually worked. Just go in the interior view and don't care. And that worked. Did, right? Is the trailer still here? It is. Look, it worked. Awesome. This is the crash I wanted to see. I'll make it sure I get this thing in slow-mo. It might be a little too early, but I don't care. Well, I'll make sure I see it. No more touching buttons, just wait for it to happen. So this is going to be like a two-part collision. It's going to be one, the truck hitting the wall, and then the trailer's going to come in afterwards almost. Watch. Here's part one. Boom. 
part one is over. Now here comes the trailer. Boom. And that makes you ultra dead as the driver. And my trailer is becoming a slinky. It is now a slinky. If you put it down a pair of stairs, it'll walk. What the heck? It just... What the... What in the world just happened? Oh, game's running real slow. It doesn't like this one bit. Oh, that trailer has no structural strength to it, really, does it? That trailer is not structurally sound. It is cool to have, but its structure is not the best. Oh, man, that thing is ruined up. All right, there's one other test I wanted to do before we do some more crashing. So we're going to do some more um, testing, and then we're going to make our way to Leap of Death after that. I know it's kind of backwards, isn't it? Um, well, too bad. Things are backwards sometimes. So let's go to the other map I wanted to go to. Okay, so the map I want to go to, I'll recognize it when I see it. Uh, Corkscrew Mountain, there it is. I saw the thumbnail, I just missed it when I clicked and it confused me. So I want to go to this map though because it has some hills that are reasonably steep. They're not anything crazy steep or anything like that. But they are steep hills and I think it would be a good challenge for the truck to do these because if you have a delivery with your big rig, you have to go through the steep hills whether you like it or not. It may be difficult. But you gotta do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the bottom of this map in the w the fastest way I know of. And I think if we jump here, that gets us real close to the bottom. If I'm not mistaken. Or at least it will after a couple of jumps from that angle. But the goal right here is just get to the bottom of this place. And uh, I figured I might as well show it to you because, well, it's always fun to get to the bottom here because your car flies and crashes all over the place. Can we do it in one crash? I think if we would have fallen off this hill right here and kept going that's one crash and that would got us to the bottom uh... the truck we have is just a little too slow for that though or at least it gets us so close to the bottom i'm happy because i don't need to be at the very bottom just close to it and oh my goodness i'm upside down and i am going so slow i hit that rock and flip myself right come on that's not flipping yourself that's just hitting the rock you got the unimportant half the important half was flipping yourself the unimportant half was how and you've got the hit the rock part and then you stopped. That's totally wrong, car. Who put all these rocks here? Why are there so many rocks in the road? I mean, I mean this isn't the road. That's the problem. You know, I'm just making roads. Either way, this is, this is where we'll start. Once we hit the bottom, that's where we'll start. So go ahead and pull up the map, or the car selector. Select uh, T-Series and we'll move it later. I'll just move it into place later. Don't worry about it. Get a nice yellow... Yellow this time. Then we'll move it into place. Now one thing, I don't know how the trailer's gonna spawn really. The trailer might be sticking all off the edge and stuff when I spawn it and have to pull it back onto the road. This is gonna be a pain. Hopefully this works out. Okay, we are, yep. See, like I thought, it's gonna be all sticking off the road. At least we are. Trailer's okay though. All right, let's do this. Let's just drive the trailer up the hill. I'm gonna use the, um, uh, I almost want to use the interior camera just because it's hard to see without... Like, I have to really work at... See what happens when I don't use the interior camera? Do you see what happens? You know what? Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I mean, you zoom out so much, it's just... It's not easy to drive like that. I'm going to use this camera. And uh, I know the trailer's there. I don't think you can't see it. I want to be able to see it, too, to see if it's tipping. Fine, we'll just do this camera, even though it makes it where you can't see the road really well, and it has all kinds of other problems with it, but whatever. It's the best camera there is. So the problem is the camera is just focused way up on the front of this and not the middle of it, because the camera is still the normal one for the big rig and not with the trailer. So going up this hill, it can actually make it, though. Barely. <laughs> it's not going more than 25 miles per hour. Actually, it's losing speed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 20. Oh, there it goes. It's okay. It's stabilizing at about 20 miles per hour. So it can make it up hills, but it is not a very fast experience. It is just... just oh, goodness. There's a big hill. Come on. Oh, my goodness. You better downshift now. 9, 8, 7, 6. Downshift. 4. I'm letting the automatic transmission do it for me. There Go! No! It's not gonna make it, is it? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is it gonna make it? Oh, it made it. It's good, it's good. Oh, can you imagine being stuck behind this guy, though? I, you're, you're, you're thinking he's coming to a stop or something. But no, that's just his truck being slow because he's in a big rig going up a hill. 
with a big old load, he ain't gonna move fast. <laughs> That's for sure. Anything steeper than that, though, and I don't know if he'll make it, but that is, I think, as steep as it gets around here, thankfully for him. So I just wanted to see if he could make it. He seemed to be able to make it no problem, though, which is good for him. Uh, you know what we also could have done is we could have tested it going down, but I forgot to do that first, see how we did. Like, I know we will tip over, and tipping over is always fun, so let's go and just pop back in and out of the map, and then we could do a uh, tipping over run. Keep clicking the wrong map, man. I don't know why I keep clicking the wrong map. It's like, that's not the right map. This is the map I want. I know the map I want. I know it. I see it. Don't try to trick me. Am I trying to trick me or is the game trying to trick me? I don't know. Somebody's tricking me. Trying to, but failing. Because I know what I'm doing, mostly. All right, trailer, trailer, trailer. Don't don't fall off. Don't fall off. Oh, jeez. Okay, we'll just we'll worry about the placement later. Let's get the trailer on it. And this thing is going to fall, but that's okay. We'll just respawn it over here. And... Okay, we're good. Woo! That was a little more difficult than I thought it would be. If it could be easy to spawn it, we'll go. Nope. And so we used a terrible camera angle. And I think that's something the mod person can change. That's the one thing that really needs to be changed. The camera just sucks. But I'm pretty sure that could be changed because I've seen mods that... Oh my goodness, this thing tipped over way easier than I expected. I figured it would have some stability, but I go around that churn and it's just like, uh-oh, we're tipping now. Goodbye. I did not expect it to be that unstable. And, wow. I mean, shoot. That thing just dipped over on the very first churn. I mean, yeah, I was going full speed. It's its fault. I, was, I mean, it's not my fault. See, the other problem is whenever my camera's at an angle, I always hit center, and that zooms it in, too. Oh, goodness. And now when I'm trying to fix the camera, I'm not looking at where I'm going. That's smart there, isn't it? Yeah, camera is a big pain to work with on this mod. I will say that right now. It is a huge pain. I don't know if the other mod with the trailer... I remember the other one with the trailer. I don't remember it being this much of a... A difficulty to work with. I think that one had like a modified camera. Alright, don't tip, don't tip, don't tip. Okay, we gotta get on the power though to get up the hill. Up the hill. And we're just gonna go fast through this. We're gonna intentionally tip on this one. I just wanna see how fast we could go and try to go and watch it tip again because tipping's kinda neat. So here we go. Go fast, go fast, go fast, and churn as hard as we can. Oh goodness, the trailer just took us off the cliff. Well, the trailer's going down on its own. We'll catch up to the trailer in a minute, I guess. Because the camera is focused on the truck, not the trailer. Which makes sense, because you can drive the truck without the trailer. That's the thing, I bet. Because it's not a separate vehicle, if you were to change the camera angle, it'd kind of be weird, because then it would be all crazy when you're driving just the truck. I didn't think about that. Oh, no. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if you could add camera angles. I just know I'm pretty sure you can modify them. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, well, now that we've tried to do some of that stuff, let's uh, absolutely entirely ruin the truck and go to Leap of Death. Well, actually, what we're absolutely entirely ruining is the trailer, but whatever. Let's go to Leap of Death. Okay, here we are. Now, one thing I didn't think about is if we spawn the big rig here and then put the trailer on it, the trailer's going to be stuck in a wall. <laughs> So this thing is huge, man. I don't know how to work with this thing. It's so big. Let's give it a color. It's rolling away. It's rolling away. Uh, that's actually okay. We could probably work with it better if it's down here more, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work. How are you working, trailer? Okay, that actually worked. Oh, now we're falling off the edge. It does not work. That spot did not work, I don't think. Turn left. Okay, we're good. We're good. It's good. It's good. It's good. This by no means a fast run this is a very slow run but as long as we get off the hit as long as we get up the ramp that's all that matters let's see what happens well I missed the slow-mo on that one I'm sorry about that and I gotta actually manually camera this thing just because the trailer is what we're interested in not the big rig and the big rig is where the camera's focused on so that thing has become a piece of paper again and it's become paper thin I think the first crash would have been the most interesting part, though, so we will have to redo this at least once. What the heck? What? What? 
What? I, I honestly have no idea exactly what just happened. Maybe it's just... Maybe it's like if a part falls off and you're so far away from it, from the main vehicle, it disappears and I've never noticed it because I've never paid enough attention? Uh, I honestly do not know what exactly just happened there. Uh, I mean, uh, I, I don't know what just happened. That is unusual and confusing. One camera this thing. Oh my goodness, do you see that thing just crumple? It's like, it's like you just took it in your fist and squeezed. That's what it looks like. Got that Hulk squeeze, man. Speed it up, speed it up. Slow it down, let me catch up. Oh, it, it, it didn't hit it with the, okay. Only the front hit it. And I'm not paying attention to the front, by the way, because, well, that's the same as the normal big rig, and I've done that before. Trailer, that's the new thing. That's the thing we're paying attention to. Oh my goodness. It's just. It was just yeah, oh my. Okay. Okay, trailers get wrecked up, man. So this is just a pile of metal. It's probably the biggest pile of metal from a car I've ever seen. If you can consider a big rig a car. And. It's not disappearing this time, so it probably had something to do with the fact that it broke off and it was so far away from the normal one, is why it disappeared. But this one, it seems like it's holding on good, falling down the cliff in a, I don't know if that's happy or unhappy manner, but whatever. And everything is going well. So, I'm going to go ahead and let this be the last run for the trailer, and I am sorry this thing is lagging so bad, that just it's just the way it is. With having an 18-wheeler, it's just so big and heavy and everything. It causes things like, oh my goodness, what is going on over here? A little bit of glitchiness right there. I don't know if that's the trailer or the big rig itself. Either way, actually, we could just let the camera sit on the big rig and until next time this is YBR. I'll see ya.